Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today me and Dan are going to try and do our weekly shop completely zero waste or I shouldn't say completely because you can never really be completely zero waste. So I'll say as zero waste as we can. Uh, we will be stopping off first at our grocers where we'll get all our fresh produce and then we are headed to a place I have been wanting to go to for a couple of weeks now but haven't gotten the chance yet. A zero waste store recently opened up in Bristol called Zero Green and I have been wanting to go since it opened and I am so excited that today is the day we finally have the chance and the time to get down to Southfield to go. So we're going to try and do our weekly shop. We've already written up a meal plan for the next week-ish um, because that's what we like to do. We like to plan our meals so we know what exactly what we need in our grocery shop. It just makes it easier and we have less food waste then. So we've done our meal plan and from that we've made our shopping list and yeah. We might end up grabbing some more bits and bobs um, if we see anything we like, like some little snacky type things at Zero Green as well. Um, but mainly we'll be sticking to a list and the aim of today is to see if we can get everything on our shopping list for the next week of meals all from these two zero waste shops our grocer and zero green um, when we get to the end I will let you know if we had to run to the actual supermarket to Tesco for example for anything else that was on our list I will let you know if that happens to be the case but I'm so excited let's go and we have an entire bag here full of jars, tiffins and some plastic containers um, to grab our food from the Zero Waste shop in as well as some other reusable bags and my produce bags for either Zero Green or the grocers. So we are ready. So we just got all of our veggies and fruit from the grocers. Only a couple of things came in plastic baby spinach and some herbs and strawberries but apart from that completely unpackaged woohoo now on to zero green I got a new toothbrush, got some bread flour, uh, lots of chickpeas, uh, sea salt, pumpkin seeds, coriander seeds in there, and a little treat. These are raw chocolate covered ginger and apparently they are delicious. So yeah, pretty successful shop. Zero Grain was absolutely amazing. Not only was there a huge range of things to buy, so many different types of pastas, uh, flowers, um, teas, loose leaf teas, there was so much stuff there. Um, but we did go to Tesco in the end to get a few things that we couldn't get there. Um, so we got olive oil, peanut butter, tahini, um, tofu, and some alcohol. Um, so all in all, that was a pretty successful trip. I was really impressed by Zero Green. The woman who was there in the shop and who served us was so nice, so lovely. We had a good chat to her about Zero Waste stuff. And um, yeah, I was really impressed. We'll definitely be going back and back and back and back. It will definitely become part of our regular shopping routine now. So yeah, thumbs up all around. I'm really pleased with that. So if you're in Bristol, you should definitely go check out Zero Green and also remember to buy your produce from your local grocer instead of the supermarkets because here in the UK, all of the vegetables and fruit in the supermarkets like Tesco and Asda and everything come mainly packaged in plastic I found. It's really weird, but you know, you can just go to your grocers and get it mostly unpackaged. Winning. Alright, I'll see you next time guys. Bye!